Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk about my current five witchy must-haves. So these are things in my practice that if I didn't have these, I couldn't function as a witch and I just couldn't function as a person. So I would love to have some video responses of your witchy five must-haves. And again, they're subject to change. These have definitely changed over the years, but I thought it'd be fun to talk about. So here's my five. So number one on the list is specifically this deck. I have had this for a long time now. It's the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. And this deck, if I can only have one deck to have, this is my, my choice because it is the best. I love the imagery. I love the messages of this deck. And as someone who loves Halloween anyways, obviously this is one of my favorites, but there's so many ways to interpret these that it's just, it's my favorite. Next, I'm being a little biased, but it's just incense. I don't care what scent of incense. I just need incense. And it is my favorite thing. It helps to cleanse my space. It's an offering. It's a way to just kind of get you in the witchy mood. It's pretty to watch, just the smoke swirling around. It smells pretty. Like you walk into a room after you've been burning incense several days in a row and it just smells like a witchy shop and it's just cozy and comforting. Like I don't love essential oils or um, like the little scent wax thingies. Like I want incense. I want to burn a stick. I don't know why. And I don't like cone incense as much either. Specifically stick incense. Again, not a specific scent per se, but just stick incense. This is just the current three I had laying next to over here in this corner. But like seriously, any stick incense, just I need it. So my next item isn't like a tangible item per se, but it is routines. I have learned that if I do not have a routine in place and I stick with it, things don't happen. If I have a routine, things happen. So part of that routine for me currently is, you know, gratitude practice, affirmations, meditation, working through the ITOW that's on Patreon if you want to follow along, um, but also just like card pulls and you know, full and new moon things, like all of that stuff falls into my routine. If I don't keep my routine, it doesn't happen. And for some people, a routine isn't a witchy thing, but for me, it totally is because witchcraft is in the mundane. It's just spicing it up just a little bit. And those routines make or break my day. Next is journals. I have so many of these composition notebooks over the years, and this is something I would go crazy without. Witchcraft or otherwise, I need to journal. This is where I write down all of my thoughts, to-do list, reflections, journal prompts, whatever, it lives in here. And I've been doing these since 2010-ish. So like 12, 13 years, somewhere around that ballpark. Can't remember if it was 2009 or 2010, but like I was in middle school and I started journals in a composition notebook and I have kept them ever since. And I think I have like four or five of these filled out. I don't do it every day. I don't have a specific page amount that I have to fill out, but I need to have these. The last thing is jewelry. And specifically, I always will have enchanted jewelry. I have some witchy jewelry that I'll wear occasionally that's not enchanted, but my jewelry is a huge part of my practice. And I've noticed if I don't wear things and then I put it back on, it makes a difference. Um, and so, like, specifically a lot of mine is necklaces or rings. I don't really have a lot of, like, enchanted earrings and stuff, but some people do. But if I don't have that, like, I go crazy. Like, I can't function if I'm not wearing at least one item that has a pentacle on it. Like, I have my ring that I wear all the time. I've had this for a few years now. And like, I always have to have like a pentacle ring. Um, I have the compass, the Norse compass ring that I'll wear on and off because it is kind of a bit loud of a ring. Um, and then this hand is rings that have been given to me. So this is the first one the now fiance gave me. And of course my engagement ring. And yes, 
even that one is enchanted. I think I have a video planned for that in the wedding series, so that'll be coming eventually, <laughs> talking about how to bless um, your rings, because I feel like as witches that's an important thing to do. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I have those, I mean I always have some level of jewelry going on, and even eventually I need to get a medic alert and bless that. But yeah, so I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. Thank you.